Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a really fun stuff to show you because guess where I'm at? I am at the Deutsches Kurwurst Museum in Berlin. So the German currywurst or curry sausage, <laughs> if you would like to call it that way, is definitely one of the most famous dishes of Germany. I mean, I love it myself. I love German sausages, if you guys don't know this already. So I thought this would be a quite fun experience because this is kind of a unique um, museum. Not just like historical and like periodical, but this is quite fun. And this is like one of the defining typical German dishes. So it's, it's, it's also a pretty cute museum. I mean, like behind me, you can see like giant fries. And they have like a typical um, imbus or currywurst selling truck. They don't actually sell currywurst in trucks. And um, they have this a very cute sausage sofa. So cute, right? And and all of the variation of like currywurst, very cute. Okay, these are so cute. Um, if you can actually hear it, like it's a speaker. Isn't it cute? These are six of the famous um, Kroger sellers, I think. Uh, we call it Imbis, but you know. It's pretty cool. So this is a map of Berlin, um, and it shows you all of the places you can get currywurst at, at least like the bigger ones, I think. That's pretty much everybody's house currywurst, but you know, how cute is that? And this shows a few of places around the world, not just in Germany, that sells currywurst. And what's cutest is that they actually featured one of um, the restaurants in Indonesia, in Bali, called Mama Stream Restaurant. I actually know this restaurant because I have one um, not quite far from my house back in Indonesia, but I don't live in Bali, so it's like a franchise. But how cute is it? We've got um, spices basically that may be used in the curry sauces, not just for curry wars, but like curry in general. Like you've got chili obviously and then mustard there, some of these are like pulled out drawers you can see like the mustard powder there and then like the history and stuff like that very cute you can also there's like this um tubes that you can that has a flap and you can smell it and you can guess the spices that it's in there for example this one is cinnamon I think that's really cute this may look very horrific but it's actually symbolic for sauces like dripping sauces so behind me is the fast food stall that sells currywurst like in a museum so we can actually get in and see the behind the scene of how people would prepare like currywurst um, and that's super exciting So behind me are like the price list, you can't quite see that. Currywurst is traditionally served with bread or french fries, but in here in Berlin it's more bread. So the bread would be grilled a little bit and then um, 
the sausages also that's so cute and here here you have the coffee machine because people usually do um, ask for coffee to go they also sell that here are the sink and then the fryers for the french fries and here's the sauce and this is where they store um, like the curry powder mix so basically a curry wars um, has a sausage and a sauce like tomato based sauce and then also the curry powder and then that's served with either bread or french fries every stall has their own different mix and sauces so it may taste different depending on where you go and this is pretty exciting actually I'll put the name um, in the, on the screen. Um, she is considered the inventor of curry wars. She called it curry brat wars back then. Special curry brat wars. Um, she was a German who lived in the British sector of Berlin back um, after the World War II, and that's where she found and that's where she invented curry wars, and then she began selling it. Um, to an old kiosk that she bought for 35 crowns with her husband and she guarded the secret of the sauce until the end of her life never telling anyone and I think that's really really cool there really is a lot of debate on where currywurst is actually invented a lot of people believe that it started with Hertha Heuber, um, as I've said before but some people believe that it started in Hamburg so who knows Okay, my fridge has no beer and definitely not that much curries, curry wars. <laughs> Let's see what's on here. Again, I have no beer. Coke, maybe. Milk, maybe. Yogurt, no. Oh yes, pizza, but no vodka though. <laughs> so I think the museum is actually really, really small for a museum. It's teeny tiny. Um, but it's quite comprehensive in terms of the history of the wars and it's really interactive. So that's kind of interesting. And yeah, I think it's pretty unique. The downside is that so actually, so the ticket actually includes a little portion size curry wurst for you to try. <laughs> it's like teeny tiny, like literally. I ordered for the spicy sauce, so let's taste. It's not actually super spicy, so it's fine. And I also ordered for the sausage with the skin. Because there is some preparation that uses no skin. Um, it means it's good. 
cooked a sausage. You can't really go wrong with that. Um, the curious thing is that the ones that I've had are usually like the sauce are super sour. So this is actually not sour at all. Like not that sour. So I like this one. So guys, that concludes our excursion to the Dasha Square Force Museum here in Berlin. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Thank you for joining us. Thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video.